I have once again on the subject of stamp collecting. Stamp collecting is a very, very interesting hobby. I've been talking to someone the other night and I spoke at great length to this person. I wouldn't otherwise have been able to speak to him for as long as that. But we came on to a um, common cause in the discourse, something to the effect that, you know, um, Hackness sheets could bring out the best in the stamps, what stamps they had and what stamps I had, what I could offer them and at what price, even though I'm not a dealer, I just, they don't want to take my stamps for nothing and I don't want to sell them, give them away either. And it was a very enriching conversation between two people and there was no um, animosity in the conversation, it was in a common, a common broad topic. That's another thing I like about this kind of thing is that it's um, a topic in which you do not shed personal emotions towards one another or get into too many arguments and I can't see an argument would come about through a conversation such as this which is clean wholesome and is not suggestive in any way. Um, the books I have in stamp collecting were discussed and that my catchphrase is um, the book doesn't, you can't judge a book by its cover and she laughed and I said yes you can certainly not judge a book by its cover and I did cite an example of where an old Weetabix stamp book, I only meant for kids stamps really when they don't ex didn't expect to see um, a one pound UPU stamping and a one pound Seahorse, they're just about, they just about uh, bowled me over. And there also was in this collection a one pound British stamp which was a way back in about the 1870s, now cataloguing about two and a half thousand. When you put the whole thing together you've got a collection that's worth $5,000 on, on book value and probably about two and a half thousand in actual real value. So there we have a great surprise. And I'm letting you know about this, and letting you know my feelings on the topic. Thank you very much.